Uh, hi, my name is Kunal, uh, better known as user Lego KTM, and I want to talk to you about why it's important to be involved in MediaWiki development. So if you're not already familiar, MediaWiki is the wiki platform that Wikipedia and hundreds of thousands of other wikis across the internet use. Um, and really, it's the platform that free knowledge is built upon. Um, it's 20 years old at this point, you know, it has a lot of warts and bugs, but it is probably one of the greatest reasons for Wikipedia's success. Um, it's simple to a concept. You have pages that have content and, you know, you, you search them and you edit them. Um, but the thing that a lot of people miss is that it, just like Wikipedia, was a collaborative project that people who are passionate, who are volunteers, in collaboration with paid staff built over the years. And that is why it has been so successful and has a track record that, you know, Google and other people have tried to create wikis to compete with Wikipedia and they all fail. And part of it is that they were missing MediaWiki. Um, and so I want to talk about my journey into MediaWiki development and how I think other people can also similarly break in and why it's so important in our current age to improve MediaWiki. Um, and so, yeah, um, I was a, a Wikipedia editor. I started out um, when I was 13, 14, no, more like 11, 10 in, um, in 20. 2006. Um, I really liked ice hockey, so that's what I would do. I'd, I'd update the articles for my local hockey team, the San Jose Sharks. After every game, I would, you know, update whether they won or lost, whether players scored a goal, what their stats were. Um, and it was very basic, but it was really fun. And then um, I started branching out into other topics, and I saw that people were writing bots that... Um, you know, had code that would automate tasks. And instead of making one edit at a time, I can make 50 edits at a time and make my edit count go up. So I got into bots and then I ran into bugs in MediaWiki. And so I learned that I could file bugs and I did. And then no one fixed my bugs. And it was so annoying that there was an easy problem in the software that I had identified and it was getting not getting fixed. And there were all these people who were supposed to be developers who had fixed them. And one of my friends, Ori, said, you know how to code, you can fix it. And so I said, sure. And then I submitted a patch and him, thinking that I knew what I was doing, merged my patch and it broke that feature on Wikipedia for 30 minutes while he slowly realized that I did not know what I was doing. And despite knowing how to code, I did not know how to make a patch to the MediaWiki software. Um, so I apologize to everyone in those 30 minutes in 2013 who, had, who saw an error screen. Um, but then he gave me homework. He said that I needed to set up a test environment and I needed to learn how to actually make a patch to MediaWiki. I needed to test it ahead of time. And fast forward 10 years later, I'm one of the top contributors to MediaWiki Core. I've written a number of extensions and every time you load a page on Wikipedia, you run my code, code that I've run, code that I've written. Um, and all because no one would fix my bugs. And more important than that is I think that I've had an influence in shaping the way Wikipedia software goes. You know, when you load JavaScript from MetaWiki instead of your, using your global JS instead of on your local wiki, when you set a preference globally instead of, you know, going to each wiki to change your language or change your signature, when you get to open your favorite wiki and see notification across another wiki, or even the fact that, you know, the back end is slightly faster because I made a performance improvement. You know, all of those are ways in which I was able to shape your editing experience. Um, and today there's a big, there's a big, um, there's a growing divide between the editor community and the WMF in which the WMF are the stewards of the technical side of the platform of the servers. Um, and largely the MediaWiki software and editors are often dissatisfied with what they see as outdated software that does not meet their needs. They're constantly doing workarounds or hacking around things and it's not kept up to date, which to an extent is true. Um, and then they blame, then they turn around and they blame the WMF and they say, why have you not fixed it? And those same people who blame the WMF for not fixing it, expect the WMF to solve all their problems. And I would like to posit that there is a second alternative, which is superior in the long run, which is you fix the problems. 
MediaWiki is an open source project. And just like, you know, we tell people that when they see an error in an article that they fix it, you should also try to fix errors in MediaWiki. And writing code is a, you know, it's a different thing than writing an article, but one, anyone can learn how to code. I learned how to code by reading a tutorial on Wikibooks, so you can too. And second, there are multiple ways to contribute that doesn't involve writing code. You can file a bug report. You can file, you can, you know, confirm a bug report. You can test someone's patch. You can, you know, uh, edit an announcement in tech news to make sure that people know that things are changing. You can read the Village Pump technical, you know, forum to help people with their questions. You can, you know, work on templates. You can work on Lua modules. You can write user scripts. There's so many different areas in which you can get involved. Um, some of which involve writing code and a lot of which don't, um, that all will make a difference. And the most important thing is that we continue to develop MediaWiki together in a collaborative fashion rather than just having one, you know, organization, the WMF or, you know, or someone else have maintained control over it. Because just like we would not have one organization write all of the articles on Wikipedia, it wouldn't make the same, make sense to do that on MediaWiki. So my ask to you is find people who are technically inclined, and if that's you or people you know, ask them to get involved in the Wikimedia technical community. That means you know, reading the mailing list, showing up in IRC, Matrix, Telegram channels. That means you know, commenting on bugs in Fabricator, you know, participating in technical forums and forwarding bug reports. Um, and eventually, you know, you can start there. And just like me, you start by filing a bug report, then you start by making a simple patch, and then you start and you keep, you know, leveling up until you're making complex changes and having high level architectural discussions about MediaWiki. And then just like, you know, writing a featured article or a good article, you'll have made your mark on what is the greatest platform for free knowledge.